Hey everyone, it's Hindas. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Timmy and I have been away for quite a while. I took a bit of a break, a much needed break, which now I'm really, really excited to be back and I have so many new ideas and so many interesting videos coming up. Look at how cute Cosmos getting. So I went to the US a month ago. I've been there for a month. I visited my sister and then I went to LA for a bit and it was just the perfect vacation for me. <laughs> Today's video is much anticipated because it's a men's makeup video. The last one I did was maybe three, four, four, five years ago, <laughs> which is crazy. But what's special about this video is this is how I would do my own makeup. And I have filmed other videos with other guys demonstrating different ways I would do my own makeup, depending on my skin concern, what I'm doing it for and the purpose. This one is definitely going to be the most natural one. It's super easy to do. There's a lot of skin prep, so this is how I would kind of prepare my skin if I have a shoot or a long, long day coming up ahead. <laughs> and my model for today is the beautiful Pietro. I will leave his details down below and his Instagram. And when I uploaded this video on Instagram, everyone thought he was either my brother, my relative, or my son, which is, you know, I'm not that old. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoy watching this video and I'm so excited to be back. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook. Everything is at Hindash and I'll see you very soon. Bye. All right, so here we have Pietro and you can see the before and after. It's a very subtle, super natural finish. I really didn't want to, you know, cover anything up. I just wanted to enhance what he already has which is always generally my idea and philosophy when it comes to makeup. So men's makeup really fits perfectly with what I do and what I love to do. I'm going to be freshening up his skin with some face mist. I either use a face mist or a toner on myself just to really make sure that whatever I put next penetrates into my skin. And then I'm going to be going in with a hyaluronic acid serum. This is from Vichy and I really like this. It's very basic in a good way super light you can layer so many products on top of this and it just delivers the right amount of hydration for my skin and i tend to be more oily sensitive combination so i just know that if i use this on anyone it's going to be the perfect middle ground and i can get away with using it on so many different skin types and after the serum i'm going to go in with that spray again just to um, give everything a nice slip because i'm going to be going in with these puff buster cryo balls and I get asked about these a lot. They are so good. And as a person that gets really, really puffy, I need something cold on my skin. I either use these or a roller, um, but I love, love these. I keep them in the fridge. And what I like to do is just basically go over the entire face and hold it onto the areas where I feel really puffy. So my eyes and around my jaw, and it really, really does help me. I, I do well with cold temperatures on my face. My skin just really does well when I kind of depuff it with something that's really cold. So this is a must have for me if I'm preparing for something uh, special, if I want to treat myself. I mean, I definitely don't do this every day. And after that, I'm going to be following up with the 111 Skin Black Diamond Eye Mask, which is one of my all time favorites. I use these on all of my models on my campaign and they just... I love these masks. I mean, I see a difference when I remove them, especially if I pair it with these cryo balls and really deep puff and just give myself that nice treat. And I put that for about 15 to 20 minutes or if I'm just doing things around the house while I'm getting ready. And when they're off, I'm going to be following up with an eye cream. This is the Clarence Total Eye Lift and just pat that in. You don't need a lot of this, just a very thin layer. And I like to go over the brow bone as well. And sometimes around the nose if I'm feeling dry and kind of in between my eyebrows and a bit on the forehead. And just pat that in and make sure it sinks in before going on to the next step. And I'm just gonna rub that in and make sure it sinks in before moving on to my next step and that's gonna be moisturizer. So I'm gonna be taking the Shani Darden oil-free moisturizer and just putting that all over the skin. Again, this is a basic moisturizer, it's light, so I know it's gonna suit so many different skin tones, especially when I'm working with someone new. And with guys, I know that they don't like to feel like there's anything heavy on the skin and I'm exactly, exactly the same. I don't like heavy moisturizers, so the less I can wear, the better. I just need them to do the right thing so I can layer them and get the benefits and just get out the door. And I'm going to be finishing off with sunscreen. This is actually one of my all-time favorites. It's the Dermalogica Prisma Protect. 
SPF 30 moisturizer and I love, love this. When I remove this, I feel like my skin looks better. I'm on my second tube. I tried different sunscreens, but I do go back to this and I just personally love it. So that's what I'm using on Pietro because again, I'm showing you how I would do my face in sort of the most basic way as I can. <laughs> So again, rubbing that in and make sure it really sinks in and doesn't leave any cast, which this one really doesn't. As you can see on Pietro, his skin tone doesn't change. And I just like to tap that in. I really, really love this. I feel like it just makes my skin look even better over time. And this is not sponsored. I'm just raving about this sunscreen. For concealer, I'm going to be taking a fairly buildable concealer. This is the Nude Sticks Nude Fix Cream Concealer in the shade number 5. And I'm going to be putting that on the back of my palette and using a darker shade as well just to target areas where he's a bit more darker, so around the forehead and maybe on the jawline. And when I take the concealer directly from a brush as opposed to dotting it on his face, I feel like I use much, much less product. And that's how it is when I do my makeup as well for an event or for a shoot. I feel like when I do this, I just look like I'm wearing much, much less makeup and I feel like I tend to cover less because I'm looking at what I need to cover. So I'm not just dotting the concealer randomly and just spreading it all over. Because a lot of the times, wherever I'm putting it on, I already have good skin. I don't need to cover that. So this gives me that targeted, very thin application, which is awesome. And it's so helpful if you're trying to wear less or look like you're wearing less makeup. And next, I'm going to be taking my Hindash Cosmetics Butopsy palette, which, you know, this is my baby. And I'm going to be going in with the wet paint color and specifically on paint, which is the banana yellow. And I'm going to be dusting that very lightly underneath the eyes to set that concealer. And this feels almost like a face powder. It's so finely milled. It's super thin and doesn't leave any texture on your skin. So this is perfect to use as a under eye brightener, which is what I did this for. Next, I'm going to be going in with Boy Wonder. Now, Boy Wonder is such a special shade for me because blush is the first thing I ever wore as a makeup product. And when I think of blush, I just think healthy cheeks, being out in the sun, and just looking alive because I'm always indoors and I never go out. Next, I'm going to be going in with Feel Real. And this is one of my favorite colors. I'm going to be doing nose contour with this. When I thought about creating this color, I really thought about creating a very realistic contour and because again the formula is super thin it's not going to look like it's just sitting on your skin and I love contouring the tip of the nose and just across to kind of give it that lift and just make everything look you know a bit more perfected because again this is my preference of how I would do my makeup so I'm just recreating that on Pietro. And as you can see, that already gave him that lift. And to emphasize and highlight that even more, I'm going to be going in with wet paint and just the paint shade and just applying that on the tip of the nose to highlight the tip and just down the bridge very lightly. And taking more of that paint color just underneath the eyes and creating that extra brightness wherever I feel needed in a very subtle, natural way. And then what I like to do is I like to go back with Feel Real and just dip kind of in the middle and a bit more to the gray side and emphasize the contours of the face. So on the jawline, the chin, and just in the hollows of the sides to kind of chisel the cheeks and give it more of that sharper look. I love doing this, especially when I have a beard. It's so easy to just, you know, fake <laughs> those small details. And then I like to connect those lines in with the jawline and then go into the jawline as well to kind of blend everything together and just make it look very seamless and very subtle. And as you can see now, as he's looking straight, you get to see that effect. And again, I can go back in with that paint color and go over the lids just to set everything again and blend things. And this is such a buildable formula that you're not going to get this intense color payoff from the get go. So don't be scared. You can really layer these on and they look like skin. Then I'm going to be taking Boy on its own and just putting that a bit on the neck just to make sure that everything is unified and to give his neck that healthy glow as well. We don't want to ignore the neck. Next, I'm going to be taking my MAC Hindash lipstick, which I collabed with MAC, I think, a year ago. It sold out and oh, I love, love this lipstick. I mean, lip tints are very important to me. This is definitely a big step in my own routine, and I just need that healthy 
glow and healthy color on the lips. Personally, I mean, I can't, I just can't live without it. <laughs> and I don't want to drop any spoilers, but I may or may not be working on something very special. <laughs> And then as a finishing step, I'm going over the entire face with that spray again, just to make sure that everything sinks in and it just, you know, blends in with the skin and looks very flawless. And that is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. I mean, it's super, super simple. I really broke it down to kind of the bare minimum of what I would do on myself and what I do usually do on myself. And how I usually do my makeup if I want to look very fresh and alive and awake because, I mean, I don't get to sleep much. I'm always working. So this is definitely my go-to for that purpose. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I have filmed a few others, but do let me know your suggestions on what you would like to see on men. I'm trying to tackle different concerns. I have one with acne coming up. And again, I would just love to hear from you and let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Hindash and TikTok at Hindash as well, because that's where I post a lot of my stuff before it gets uploaded on YouTube, so you can get a bit of a sneak peek. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Bye.